I'm going to make a countdown timer that lasts four minutes and I'm going to display the seconds on the screen and then I'm going to have a button at the bottom that resets the timer. So the first thing we need to do is put the number of seconds on the screen. So we'll use a text block for that. And we're going to go ahead and make the text size larger. And in the center of the screen. Okay, so we need to replace this with the time, which should be a variable. So I'm going to say timer equals 4 minutes times 60 seconds is 240 seconds. And then right here we're going to take off the quotes and put timer. Okay, now we need to draw a loop. And we'll put the text block inside of it. And we'll also put in something to make it grow smaller. Okay, so inside the draw loop, timer equals timer minus 1. And so now we can see the numbers are changing, but they're writing on top of each other. So I need a background inside the draw loop. Okay, so that's working, but you can tell this isn't going to last four minutes because they're going too fast. They're going at 30 frames per second. So uh, we need to slow it down. So uh, one second divided by 30 frames per second gives you 0 0.03. So instead of saying minus one, we're going to say minus. 0.033. So now you can see it's slowing down at roughly one second at a time. We've got all these decimals that we don't need, so to get rid of those, we're going to come in the math and uh, get math round. That way we can round the number before we display it. So now it's working kind of like we want. Now let's work on that button. So we need to add a sprite up here at the top, and we're going to call it uh, Reset Button. And then we need to pick an animation. I just picked like this generic button before I started, so I can pull that down from my list. And let's put it lower on the screen. And it didn't show up because I need to hit draw sprites. Okay, it looks a little uh, off center. Uh, good enough. Okay, so then we need to make it where if you click this, this resets. So we need an if. This is inside the draw loop. Mouse pressed over and it needs to be pressed over the reset button. Then we want to set the timer back to the original value. Okay, we'll let it get down just a little bit and that'll reset it. And now if you wanted something else to happen, if the timer got to zero, you could just copy this one and just change the condition.